for another episode of the Counting Benches. This, I believe, is episode 18. Where's my window that? It's episode 18 of the Counting Adventures. Here in Dragon's Throat, which we uh, went through a little bit in our last episode. Uh, so onwards and forwards to Shadow's Passage and finding the Oracle. So we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go here. Yeah, let's close that. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you to our uh, generous donators too to Extra Life. We are in uh, Extra Life mode now for the next weeks and months on the live stream, of course. Uh, this will be a few weeks before this actually makes it up on YouTube. But we'll still be in Extra Life mode then as well. So we're over halfway towards our goal. We want to learn more about extra life there's some details down underneath the uh, the live stream here as well as uh, on our YouTube channel you'll see an extra life playlist and of course on our website and the extra life uh, website right here now this of course is my participant page where you can make a donation to extra life by putting that url in it'll take you right to my donation page so you can make a donation as well but if you want to learn more right here extra-life.org i also stream wednesdays uh currently uh during the summer for the most part uh on the official extra life channel again links below the live stream here on our channel channel page so all right Without further ado, we've got a mix here of some uh, Tyrians who have joined us on the adventures uh, after meeting up in the Zuna Square as we saw last episode, as well as our uh, local Canton henchmen. So let's see how things go here. Let's see what we can do. Now this should, I think, right, we are no longer underground. Dragon's Throat technically is underground, but I do not believe Shadow's Passage is, so it actually kind of counts towards Cartographer, fortunately. Actually, a small area here, too. Way no Sue, Ascension Time. Or at least uh, the a faction's option of ascension. But I imagine some of my recent students may know where to find him now. Many of them seek to become way no Sue after leaving the monastery. I heard that Nika saw the oracle not long ago. I think I know where she can be found. Let's go find a Nika. All right, bro, bro Menlo. Eyes open your weapons at the ready, Ferris, and your larger thugs and pickpockets at the plant places. places. Yeah, no kidding. And they will be one happy to take advantage of you. Yes, no kidding. Thank you. Just uh, starting at Xing Jing my last year there, but I got only. But I got to know her fairly well. Really? An assassin with the Obsidian Flame Guild now, huh? Buck Deck Byway. Okay, thanks for that information. I take it then you are not joining me on my grand adventures here through uh, Shadow's Passage. This is a relatively easy area to uh, vanquish as well. In a small area, even with these guys here so what we want we want wave perfection critical eye and attack we are using OBS as our uh, streaming software for this episode a bit of a change from twitch just to see if we can get uh, 
some better stream quality through here because uh, well, my last uh, my last stream with extra life for uh, taking some R and R with a family was trove and it was uh, it was absolutely miserable the The problems I had trying to stream Trove and Twitch and the... Oh! This guy is a boss man. There we go. Oh no, we no longer have favor of the gods. How dreadful. Oh, <sighs> quite alright. We've got to go to Buck Deck, right? Yep. With the new headset I got here, I can still hear that annoying buzz. I didn't really hear that coming through on the stream, so hopefully that's at least minimized it. I needed a new headset anyway. The old Guild Wars headset now retired. But not forgotten and not gone, because you never know when uh, it might come in handy again. So we can actually pop up here. Some exploration map clearing to do here. weapon to see if I'm actually it's more of an AOE for Jason foes but what about the one I'm attacking oh yeah well adjacent to me so yeah so that does do extra damage even if it's only one This just loops around, that's what this is. Just a loop de loop. Hopefully the mic volume uh, levels are okay. We'll see. Still got to play around and adjust some things. The new headset, new software, and all that stuff to play around with. Just trying to make things better. As always. 
any uh, more experienced streamers out there ever want to give me some tips, it's always welcome. The shizzles. Come on. Always contact me on my website to uh, give me tips on settings and all that stuff. So. Yes, that's the... Ooh, nice, okay. Got a gold there a lot. Good. Oh well, hello. We can sneak back here, eh? Anyway, there's Shadow's Passage. Quick and easy. Relatively speaking. So I think with that warrior boss, of course, you got an elite with him anyway. So we're not away. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, does it? Okay. So this should take us to Buck Deck? Yes. In the meantime here, let's see, medical emergency, red tape, I th oh, red tape was the one. Imperial assistance we did, so you know what? We can't do that one, so I'm just going to delete that. Maybe. Let's turn this red so I know I can't do that quest. Oh, you know what? Let's just delete this. Screw it. Save myself some time here. Okay, let's see where Nico may be. She's way down there, so we... Just trying to see if it would be easier to come out of so we zoom the square local but actually that's underground yeah so there's no easier way or quicker way to get there from an outpost from the looks but so let's just go get her let's go find ourselves from nico here Finding the oracle we got, Brother Kasai, we got to uh, seek out the cure, if she's a drink. The Tanakai quest after Napu. A lot of this stuff comes up after the Nipu mission, it seems. Okay. Back to business. Just so Let's 
see here. I was hoping I'd take care of the feedback in my headphones, but it doesn't. I might just have to deal without hearing the mic through the headphones. Let me do this real quick here. Okay. At least that stops the annoying buzz for now. I'll leave that open for the time being. Oi! Hello! that buzz that's coming from the mic too. I'm going the wrong way.
Dang it. Get your Kai saying hands off me. You are talking to an assassin, you know, you fools. I hate aggroing in the middle of a storyline. Alright, y'all go over there, thanks. Step back, thank you. Of course, the uh, chick. This is here's the chick. Yeah, the chick. That's on the uh, assassin packaging. The assassin, anyway. Nika, the assassin. Featured on the uh, factions packaging as. Uh, I believe it was Sin and uh, Eve on the original Prophecies packaging. So we finally get to meet her. So you became closer to the stars as well, have you? Yes, indeed I am. Thank you. Finding the Oracle complete. Nika the Assassin. Oops, stop that. You're ready to become closer to the stars, does he? Yes, indeed he does. You must think you're very skilled to suggest such a thing. Hmm, I'll tell you what. It's been some time since I saw the Oracle. I believe Fishmonger Bizun in Wei Zhong Bazaar can direct you to him. Tell Bizun that Nika sent you. He will know what to do next. Thanks. I'll go ask this Fishmonger dude, Chanko. Closer to the stars. Okay, so... Uh, that means now onto the marketplace. All right. Oh, and we lost our uh, we lost our friendly neighborhood Tyrians as well as. Uh, you know those here. Okay, so, uh, so we'll take Headmaster. We'll take Lo Shaw. Professor Guy. Zo. And uh, we'll take Talon. Thank you. All right. Hello, other person who's here with me. Alright, 
so he's over by the docks. We did finish that, right? Yep, okay. Yeah, we did take care of the Jade Brotherhood previously. a nice one to have but I don't use it that often I might want to swap that out for another writ skill at some point make a little bit more use of my secondary sort of my oh shoot skill I need healing fast Zin Lao, sir. All right, on the fishmonger. Mm, three eyed salmon sounds delicious, but that's not what I'm here for. Yes, she did. Okay, yeah, what about the Jade Brotherhood? Oh, that would be you. A Knigget. Oh yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what? Oh, okay, there's more to defend against. I see. Okay. Oh, I think we've been had. Or slightly used, anyway. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now for the long journey. Nika, that sly little minx, getting us to do a dirty work for her. At this point, I guess it doesn't matter whether we take the underground passage or come up the mountain, eh? So we'll take the more scenic route. Yes, the quieter route as well. Floor, floor banobble, floor banobbles. Well, that's a positive outlook there. <laughs> so what's a Florb novel? Somebody want to tell me what a Florb novel is? The bricks are staring at me again. <laughs> it 
Is that it? You're all done. Okay. Interesting. What do you have to say, man? Oh, Joe. Ah, yes, the obsidian flame. Where have I had that for? Anyway, on to what we're looking for here. That little glitch was in game there, but it's choppy again, choppy, choppy, choppy. Come on. Checking out the stream. Oh, you're not who I want to talk to anyway. That's so choppy when I just stand still, so maybe I should do that. Oh, Zunra! Oh, you're just a celestial Kieran. And you've got nothing to say, Mr. Kieran, who looks like Zunra. If you want something you're going to have to speak up, I cannot make out one bit of your mumbling. Is that the loudest you can talk? Maybe you ought to try hand gestures instead. If you cannot manage with hand gestures, maybe you had best run along, run along, nothing to see here. You are favored by the heavens. Oh, really? Well, that's good to know. We are ready. Uh, I'm ready. Uh, yes, yes, I'm. I, I'm ready. When I would be seeing you. My name is Soon. I am the Oracle of the Mists. I was sent here to... I know why you have come here. You are not the first to seek my help. You will not be the last. What... What the do I... The stars in the night sky cast their light down upon the world, making physical replicas of themselves. Kai Shundon, the Kirin, the embodiment of corruption, the being of pure good turned to pure evil. Juan sang the turtle dragon, the eternal paradox, not one thing or another, a reminder that we will never fully understand the mists. Kai Shi, the phoenix, the representation of fiery eternity, awaiting those in the underworld. And finally, the mightiest of them all, Tamu, the dragon, a constant reminder of atrocity, pain, and anguish. You must defeat the avatars of these four celestial bodies if you wish to become closer to the stars. Only then will you be able to see into the spirit realm and truly fight Shiro Tagachi. But how do I... Get to the avatars? 
Step through one of these portals, and you shall be transported to the location you desire. Choose wisely. If you should perish while among the Celestials, I will not come help you. I understand. I doubt that. One more question. Bother me no more with this. Tangle with the stars if you must, but you will waste no more of my time. Excellent. And we are now in Nabu Quarter. Asian scouts. So we don't need to talk to you. Good. So we actually might have time to uh, attempt to run through Nabu and come closer to the stars. Why, well, that's quite excellent. So again, thanks to the. Design of these faction missions, you essentially want a speed run. Where, right, Mister Matchett? How are we doing anyway? That's okay. That's that. We'll deal with this later. There we go. For the moment, anyway. All right. Banzai. I don't know if I've ever actually tried Neipu Koda with just henchmen, so this should be interesting. Uh, to see how this actually works out, and let's see which henchmen we actually have available to us. So we can get back some of the Tyrians to join us on this grand adventure of becoming a way. No, Sue. So. Oh, I believe I see Eve. Excellent. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay. Geek. 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 So, certainly Jamie. We'll take Aiden. Devona. And Sin. I think we had Chio, so we'll take Chio with this as well. All right, there we go. Alright, that pretty much clears this out there. Let's see if I remember this. This actually tells us about the Celestials, doesn't it? Tamu the Dragon, a reminder of atrocity, pain, and anguish. Tamu was an empress well known for her generosity and kind spirit. The people of her lands 
were all her children, and she made sure none went without food and shelter. When the Naga attacked her, private guards urged her to flee the city that she might save her own life. But Tamu would not abandon her children. She called to her people to take up arms to defend themselves against the Naga, and she herself went into the streets to do battle. Unfortunately, the Naga overpowered Tamu and her people, keeping her alive to witness the torture and murder of every single person in the city. Enraged beyond reason, she managed to break from her bonds and call down fire from the heavens, which streaked through the streets in the form of a dragon, incinerating the Naga attackers. Hmm, interesting. All is as it should be. Is time now? Almost time, yes, indeed. Okay. Excellent. Closer to the stars. Complete. So, and about these other celestials. The Kirin. The embodiment of corruption, Kei Jondon was a healer of breathtaking beauty who showed compassion to any who sought her aid, including those who could not pay her. Unfortunately, Kei Jondon caught the eye of a cruel gang leader. When she refused his offer of courtship, his men attacked her, scarring her lovely face past all recognition. When Kei Jon's scars proved immune to even her own strong magic, she became enraged and swore revenge upon her attackers. Over the years, her quest for vengeance became an obsession that blackened her soul until at last she made a pact. Made a pact with a demon who promised powerful magics in return for completing the horrific ritual that would make him flesh. Kei Jean Don did not hesitate, and the killing she performed that day left her forever corrupted. seem to remember having more celestials, but I guess it is only the form. The Phoenix! Hi G. The representation of fiery eternity in the underworld. Hai G was the youngest of eight sons from a noble family long known for producing talented warriors. He did not like to fight, preferring instead to wield his paintbrush, with which he had unsurpassed skill. One evening, his family was attacked by a neighboring warlord. Hai Ji was tortured and left for dead. But as the invaders swept down upon his two baby sisters, he arose, took up the sword he had so despised, and single-handedly killed every invader. When his grim task was complete, Hai Ji dropped to his knees and begged Grenth to to see to it that his family's murderers found no peace in the afterlife. Grant heard Haiji's prayers, dooming the souls of the murderers to an eternity of fiery torture. And finally, Kuang Sang, the turtle dragon, the eternal paradox. Kuang Sang was a wizened old sage who spent his days dispensing helpful advice and delivering messages to and from the spiritual realm. When the Emperor's daughter took sick with an unknown illness, Kuang Sang consulted with the spirits. After gathering their advice, he returned to his Emperor's side, relaying all that he had learned. Convinced of Kuang Sang's advice, the Emperor altered the death of the oldest daughter of every household. Really? And when it was done, he looked to his own daughter, sure she would be healthy once more. Instead, he found her cold body lying in her bed. It did not take Kwon Sang long to realize he had misinterpreted the riddles of the spirits. In grief and shame, he took the Emperor's sword and cut off his own head. Hey, that was interesting. How do you do that? Okay. So I think we can now enter this mission. See how far we get along here, eh? Enter mission. This ought to be interesting. Ought well, to be interesting. Adept Nye.
Okay, by your command. Okay, so let's go. Let's go find a portal. Where's the portals? Meantime, we'll map clear while we're waiting for the portals. Now, if I recall, the easiest... Ooh, I don't want to run into that portal. The easiest thing to do is to start with the Kirin first, because the Kirin is a healer. As I recall. Okay. Dang it. Uh, how about we fight these guys? Thanks. Here we go. Okay. Kijon Dong, you're up. First one done. Okay. Can't go around. Can we? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Losing time, losing time.
Come on. Sweet, I gained the level. There's one mission where I uh, generally forget to uh, unflag my heroes and henchmen, much to my chagrin. Two down, two to go. Long command. Ten minutes. All right. I think we're uh, right on par for masters there. Now it starts to become a little hairy here. Ooh, Celestial Sword. Nice. Special skinned weapon there. I believe that only drops actually in this mission. Nice. I don't think I have a celestial sword.
come on. Let's get right there. Try to draw some aggro here. All right, one more to go. All right, here we go.
come on. Alright, it's cutting the crew, so I think it's 20 minutes, so what we need to do now, go right after High G. I think if we get her... We end the mission. stars for granted the celestial ministry perhaps i see you have encountered them already unfortunately the ministry are nothing more than an overfed bunch of paper pushers good for little other than playing parlor tricks at a naga cub's birthday party Well, you'll understand then when I don't welcome all of those who come looking to become closer to the stars. Now you will excuse me. I have much work to do. But go talk to an adept. I think I just nudged in under the under the time limit there. So very good. Of course, I do have to run it again for my other book, but hey, and for exploration. But that'll be for a non-episode adventure. Are you an envoy? Yes. Are you here to take us to eternal paradise? You're not going to paradise. What, what are you going to do with us? I'm going to make you into my soldiers. You're going to fight for me. We won't do it. You can't make us. You will do whatever I tell you. Kneel. Bow before your new master. <laughs> I 
and the plot thickens. All right, there we go. Didn't anticipate actually getting the mission done, but there it is. We got it done, so we're good. I think uh, we can call this an episode. Senji's Corner, now that we're away no Sue, we can actually change our secondary. Tanakai Temple. I will go to Tanakai Temple at some point. Where we get. Oh, and we can get into the Zakang Skyway from here. Excellent. Oh, lagging there a bit in game. What do you collect? Essences. Ooh, gemstone stuff, really. Hmm. Interesting. Do that, let me do that. I do, uh. And there you go. You can get a little bit of a look at the sword there. Quite sparkly, it is. Quite sparkly. more skills to be had go through those for certain and of course with the, I, I think the four celestials also count as bosses or you can capture skills from that if I recall correctly within the mission of course there was no assassin or ritualist one so nothing for me Excellent, excellent, excellent. Looks like, yeah, it's really just the edges that need to be map cleared, too, so. Easy enough to do, popping in and out through the different portals, just for the express purposes of map clearing. So where does this take me? Ah, Napu, ah, Napu Quarter Explorable. That's right, it is explorable as well. Okay. I like Bazuna Square. I don't think Bazuna Square is actually explorable, is it? No. Alright, we're back. And that's I guess that's it for the quests here. Let's take a look. Don't need elite skills because we're not capturing anything this episode. Senji's corner. Oh yep, yeah, that's all I have here. The rest are in uh Zakang's Skyway. It's one in Weijun Bazaar, 
training center. There's a few to pick up here and there. So I think that will be for next time. Uh, well, let me see here. Oh, eliminate the Jade Brotherhood in Kyning Center. So let's go to Kyning Center. Pick that up from Guardsman Chen Po. It's actually a couple of quests here. I think I can pick up. Chien Po, where are you? There you are. Interesting that Aiden and Devona are here as well. Eliminate the Jade Brotherhood. Because we're not going to cry to anytime soon. Book dick, by the way. Sure, leave it to me. <laughs> Let them kill each other off and we'll clean up what's left over. So there's a one here after I do the Tanakai quests, after refuse to drink, after search cure, after Sanjay's uh, corner, we did. Okay, what else we got here? Eliminate the Amfa. Oh, interesting. I've got to find Guardsman Ping. I didn't see Godsman Ping anywhere. Oh wait, is that you? Yes, there you are. I shall. So now we've got eliminate the Jade Brotherhood and eliminate the Amfa. Excellent. So it looks like Shenzhen Tunnels, Matu Keep, which we've got a way to get to anyway. Some tunnels near Matu Keep. Shins and tunnels. The missing corpses. Near the portal to the Kang Skyway. So, Weijun Bazaar. Near Napu Quarter. Okay, so I can probably come out of Napu Quarter then.
makes it so much more helpful when you have your list and you've done it all before and you don't have to wander around redoing areas to see what else might have popped up so who am I looking for here Kian Oh, I believe I found her. What am I to do? Oh, oh dear. I will lend a huge pain. And when some all done, you want to go out for a bite to eat? Maybe a drink? Mm. Alright, so we've got that one. I think that's all the quests after that open up after Napu. Napu, Napui that are easily gotten to so there's some in uh the kang skyway the shenzhen tunnels and matu keep so looks like this will be my next next episode exploring those areas excellent 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 so thank you for joining us for this episode everyone of the Canton Adventures. Next up, of course, will be the Tyrian Adventures, July 23rd, where we go through an extended episode, uh, the first primary set of quests for Sorrow's Furnace. Sorrow's Furnace? Sorrow's Furnace. Cat will be joining us. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a couple of other people, like Vanishing Master as well. MVP mode hopefully will be joining us as well but we'll see if anyone would like to join us for that quest chain set aside three hours Saturday morning 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time and uh, we'll see what we can do Saturday July 23rd of course if you're watching this on YouTube it is way too late and we've already done it so catch the highlights on uh, on uh, our Twitch channel until I upload it to YouTube. Anyway, thank you everyone. This is BJ Wallace saying until next time, I will see you in game.